Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Drop System Breach. Um, this is a kind of an action puzzle roguelite sort of maybe kind of I don't know. The genres mean nothing these days, don't they? But uh, th this game's really cool. I actually I played it a little bit of it just to try and familiarize myself um, uh, with it for this video, and I found it really difficult to stop playing it it's actually really addictive um it's hard a hard one to explain um but we'll jump into it and we'll have a look at what the gameplay looks like it's uh, also hard to pin because the gameplay kind of keeps changing it, they keep throwing curveballs at me and, in, in a good way um so let's uh let's just have a look at what kind of game this is so we'll have missions these missions were are going to give us money we're going to use money to buy equipment and hardware to upgrade our rig or our deck if we want um, for the sake of hacking uh and yeah it's you, like so far it's been pretty linear it's like i i've had kind of little agency in the form of like picking and choosing my missions and i've just been kind of like taking whatever the game throws at me um but uh, i think at a certain point it is going to open up a little bit but we're gonna have a look at this mission it's the only one i have available to me right now uh i have played a little bit in so when you start this game it's not going to be as complicated as uh when uh what you see coming up here uh but don't get too intimidated i'm gonna try and explain things while i'm doing them they're probably gonna throw a tutorial at me in a moment friendly program iteration initialized find and enter a log server hub drive find drive so, okay hold on i'm gonna read it while i'm paused find a drive r31 and download research package res 649 drain all raw data from the network that is our bonus mission and detach is not possible so basically you are entering a um system you're breaching a system uh you know there's the there's the name drop and uh you are trying to achieve a a, a main or primary mission and then you have a uh you know bonus mission i tend to try and do everything that i can because i want to get as much money as i can and so far i haven't found the game challenging enough to really not warrant doing that so this is uh what we're going to do to breach the system this is the first gate we have to open this is going to be this this thing here is a log server uh every time we do something in this uh system you're seeing in the top right corner uh it's building a log uh, it's building logs and it, as is customary in these kind of hacker type games you want to try and clear your logs uh, now up until now i've been doing that manually and what I, to do it manually you have to go to your the log server and then like rapidly kind of just kind of click as many times as you have logs available uh, you don't want to build up logs because if you build up logs then basically uh, the person who is like acting security for, and I say person, basically the AI, the defense of the system is going to catch on that you are doing stuff. And all that really means mechanically is that when um, you run out of time or when the uh, system attacks you, you're going to take more damage. So bottom line, all you really need to know is don't build up logs. But now they're throwing a curveball at me. And as I say, this, this game likes to throw a lot of curveballs at me. You can start a cleaner program on log servers. It will automatically delete your logs regularly. You can delete logs manually, even if the cleaner program is running. You can run multiple cleaners and drainers simultaneously if you have the necessary process power. We're going to get into process power in a second. Sometimes it saves much time to go directly or to cycle between your running programs. You can use the friendly program iterator, uh, left trigger, right trigger on your controller. Okay, so yeah, this is a new, new one for me. Uh, so this is how I manually delete my logs. I just kind of go here and, you know, press A. I'm using a controller. Uh, or we can run a cleaner. We'll run a cleaner by building one log here. Uh, looks like I don't, I, and I don't have any um, RAM right now. Or not RAM, sorry, but like processing power. The processing power you earn by basically uh, taking control of the processing power on the this system so th here is the enemy uh, or the, the this corporation's um processing power and i'm going to take control of that processing power if you look in the top left corner you're going to see that my nexus has two yellow bars under it the nexus is basically our um you know our main computer and now it has extra processing power available to it i'm also taking damage but our firewall acts as our defense and i have to come back occasionally to restore that defense 
I'm trying to explain a lot of things while they're happening. So bottom line right now is we have processing power. So now I can run the cleaner on the log server. So that's going to ensure that I delete logs uh, passively over time. Um, also, uh, under the defense, you know, uh, acting as a defense against this system is we have this thing called a RAM. These are little mini games. If you want to try and disable these, um, there, it's not like uh, lights out. It's not just the lights out um, mini game again. I, I promise you that it's um, you kind of have to guess which of these lights to, to light up based on the surrounding kind of mini lights. Now that we've um, turned it off oh our firewall is almost gone so i have to come back and there's a there's some pretty good um quality of life like buttons and hotkeys for like switching back and forward so we're good there uh, and our logs are gone and we can start actually uh infiltrating the system we have to find drive r31 and download some research package uh and here we have some data i can run a data drainer to collect that that is basically passive income which is nice keeping an eye on our firewall making sure that it is nice and flush taking advantage of any cpu power that i find and uh, basically these are drives so we want to try and find these these are we're, we're looking for r31 there's r31 right there and we're looking for res 649 there it is right there and so we have completed our main objective but that doesn't mean we're done yet we definitely want to take full advantage of the processing power we have as well as the control over the system that we have so we're going to be running um, data drainers on all of these systems anything that has a, that blue diamond um, that basically that's data that we can use we can sell it generally speaking we're going to be selling it um, and we have tons of uh, tons of CPU power and we want to like explore as much as possible and take advantage of our moment of uh having control and we have basically all of the cpu power that this um system has available to us so we're going to run as many drainers as we want as we can on all of those ensuring that we're clearing our, our logs whenever possible you might notice in the top middle we have a timer as well so you do have a time limit um and uh, you know things will get uh, basically the attacks that the um corporate system makes against you comes in the form of losing extra time so uh if you lose you know if you run out of time you're basically cooked and we have achieved all of our goals so we're going to go ahead and detach from that system and that is what a mission looks like so we've collected uh 240 and you'll notice there 90 of 90 collected raw data we we get an extra 90 dollars for that which is pretty good and then our completed extra objective drain all raw data we get an extra bonus of 50 dollars for that we can use that to buy um programs and stuff uh we have actually a new store here software box i uh, this is new uh, new to me drainer programs run on different data nodes automatically drain the data so this is the thing i was using to drain the data and it looks like if i uh i, I can throw a thousand dollars at it to speed it up a little bit uh, and we can also do this to the cleaner and it looks like we can do this to the repair program Run, running on your fire firewall repairs the damage to your firewall automatically it looks like to to me that's something we need to buy first so let's go ahead and buy that i was saving up for an extra thread um and what the extra thread basically means is that um every any, anytime you're doing something anytime you're like running a program you're opening a gate um you're you're stealing data uh it has to run a program basically on uh, a thread of your computer uh and right now i only have three which means i can only have three processes running at uh at any one given moment the the good news is that i don't need much more than that because i have a lot of pro uh, passive processes that run on the enemy corporation's uh processing power so like basically i'm not using my own i'm I'm doing a lot of things passively and, and I'm not using my own computer to do that. So let's go ahead and pick a new mission. We can uh, choose who we want to work for. We can work for uh, Drake here or Eliza Jules. Eliza Jules seems to be kind of like a uh, some kind of gamer hotshot um, who likes to do things for credit and, and likes to do things for, uh, you know, build a celebrity status. Whereas um, Drake here, I think, is a little bit more money focused um and you know they just want to kind of get by so you know i don't know we can we can do something for eliza 
our mission is to acquire a keychain of Hope Lee's mine. So we'll see. Uh, you'll see a lot of data um, being collected in this one because we we want to we have to find out um, find Eliza jewels. So anytime we open one of these gates, in, in addition to drain, uh, data that we can drain, there's also this extra user account. We have to find out what that is, and we have to find out um, if it's you know if it's Hope um, Lee's Milne, then we want to collect that basically. Let's go ahead and get rid of this RAM computer. There we go. Did it pretty much on the first go. This is Ray Egerton, so that's not who we're looking for. Making sure to uh, get rid. We have to we have to delete logs manually until we find some um, enemy processing power. So that's fine. You'll just see me run back there and uh, delete some RAM occasionally. And I find this really addictive. I mean, it's a very simple game. Um, it's a it's a balancing act. You know, you got to come back here and make sure that your firewall's okay and make sure you're not taking damage from your nexus. And uh, you know, then we got to come come back here and make some progress on these gates here's some processing power so we'll go ahead and click that make sure actually well, i mean we can delete some logs but at this point now we can run a cleaner so we don't have to do that as often um and we're making sure we are looking up these accounts as we go and i'll i'll go ahead and delete some logs manually as well because that's gonna quicken that process up a little bit so what do we got hope lee's mill there it is um so we're gonna go ahead and acquire that key that's the um our primary mission and you know we've got tons of time left so we can go ahead and start running uh some drainers except we don't really have all that much processing power so we gotta make sure we steal some more before we can start collecting the more data Uh, this is the enemy defender, by the way, the hostile interface. This is what makes attacks on our system in the form of, uh, you know, losing time. Our uh, firewall is actually almost dead here. We're going to make sure we restore that nice and healthy. And, uh, you know, in the interest of speeding this up a little bit, let's go ahead and also manually drain some of that data. And we're actually good to go and we'll detach. And that's that. Like I said, the game's not super difficult yet, but also I find that the the different kind of um, even if they're like abstract concepts, the concepts they're throwing at me are easy enough to understand mechanically that I don't feel overwhelmed. You know, I know I have to come back to the Nexus and restore the the firewall. That's our defense, so I have to restore our defense to make sure we don't actually take any damage. Uh, if I want to make sure, you know, I got to make sure we keep the number of logs down, um, and you know, everything is kind of. Uh, introduced in a, in a slow methodical way in a, in a, in a gamey sense and, and it makes things very easy for me to understand uh new prophecy dump received from Mis visionary core your personal id has been included in prim premium premium candidates dot list dot dot enabling trial 45.6a renamed path to attention to comply with conventional naming traditions enigma core evaluation path must be taken don't know what that means don't know what any of that means we have one mission. This one is Probable Security Systems Proxy Gateway. That's something new. I haven't seen that one before. So let's see what that means. Connect all hubs to explore the network. New gateway detected. New curveball detected. This has got a proxy. Gate interface. Oh, okay. New minigame. Proxy gateway is a simple defense system. The only way to open it is by solving a minigame. You only have to switch all red nodes to green. Okay, so we, have, we might actually have like... Uh, okay, this seems pretty simple. I, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Okay, well, not, not a big deal. So this, uh, the primary mission here is that we just have to fully explore the network. That's it. Uh, making sure that we, again make uh get rid of our logs as we're going as soon as i have that extra processing power i'm gonna go ahead and run the cleaner on that log we have another proxy network not sure what oh i guess uh this is gonna same similar as before we're gonna have to make sure we clean that i don't know what those do just yet it might be that we can't actually progress um on the network unless we solve this mini game i think that is actually the case it seems to be the case yeah okay not a big deal Let's go ahead and uh, restore our firewall while we're, you know, dirtling a little bit. 
progressing again we're just kind of uh opening gateways making sure that we keeping our logs low the logs there's no data on this network which is kind of a bummer but that's fine our uh main our secondary mission is just to do this quickly so we went ahead and did that in four minutes i've uh i've like done things as quickly as one minute when i'm like really kind of speeding along mad prof dude gave us good drop profitable for all hope you want to want to more because i got new job for you target special package from the closed network you handle the gateway sure don't mess around drainer programs need time to work and that's the whole point nah okay again i'm trying to save up for another thread i don't know if honestly another thread is really that good but i'm doing it anyway uh the common and market database hubs have multiple data nodes you have to drain them separately if you're looking for serious cred the rare green market data on the market database hub is worth five times more nice okay extra money is always good so what um all right we're we're, we're in we're we're in Gotta make sure we find you don't want to do too much before you find the uh, log server because you really gotta oh we got two ram networks that's not good or ram programs i should say got to get rid of these as quickly as possible because they make constant attacks on your uh firewall i found like you really don't you know don't worry about uh the fact that you know you're making mistakes this thing is like it's just stalling you it, it, it's like you know it's an inevitability that you actually break this mini game you just have to kind of keep trying until you get it um all right so our logs are okay uh we've now got some processing power let's run a cleaner on the uh log and uh, we'll just keep progressing so apparently we are uh in some kind of marketplace let's go ahead and manually clean what is our data our uh, mission drain all market data from the network that's it okay we can definitely do that oh our firewall is in trouble let's go ahead and restore that um we're what are we what's happening with our oh i see it is it's it's currently working it's just taking a little bit longer about it um we don't actually have a lot of processing time so we're gonna have to do some of this manually which means we're gonna be building up more logs and uh you want to occasionally make sure that you're also deleting logs manually as well like we have passive programs doing this but not a big deal to come over and do it ourselves as well It just means it'll happen faster and you you do want to be fast you know even though that's not our mission right now and i know uh i know currently we are trying we want the raw or the rare uh data i understand that but um i want all the data i am greedy for the data so i'm gonna go ahead and take all of it um and let's go ahead and make sure that we are also repairing our firewall. Oh, and make sure we're not building up too many log logs. Um, so all that really happens when you build up to, uh, enough logs is that it um, it increases the core defense. And so when and if you take actual nexus damage, um, you'll you'll lose more time. So that's really all that's happening there. Not a big deal, honestly, in the grand scre uh, scheme of things. Okay, so we've got all of the important stuff and making sure we delete those logs. I want all the data. I'm not going to settle for anything less, honestly. We have a minute and 40 seconds and we don't have a mission um, to like do this quickly or under four minutes. So I'm not going to be shy about taking all of this. And basically every little bit of data you take is an extra buck. So if I want that extra thread, then I'm gonna want this data. And making sure we restore our firewall as well.
And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I won't say that it, it uh, can get slow. I mean, I'm, I'm working as quickly as I can. But certainly on these kind of missions, you are, you know, you're doing a lot of this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. We got all the data. Detach. And, you know, this game just feels good. It's just very satisfying. It's got very good, um, like, you know, uh, soft kind of feedback. But that, the, the kind of little blips and bloops, it's it's balanced well. It's, um, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's got good sound effects and it. It feels good to play this kind of game. And, um, like I say, it's not too difficult, but you know, it's just, it's just a nice little casual game. We are the swarm. We are everywhere and we can get inside any network. We have been watching your work with interest and we want to offer you a partnership. This is your trial drop. Hack into the system of a small private data bank and download the marked package. Okay. I also kind of like the storyline in this game, which is a novelty. I, I tend to not really care too much. This guy's got a RAM and many proxy gateways. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, download document package named ProG Rescore. No problem. I can do that. Um, I, I, I think the first thing I always want to do is find the log server just to make sure that we are deleting logs as quickly as possible. We've got proxy networks. But we also have processing time now. Um, do document package named from the... Ne okay, so I'm not sure what we're looking for. I think that is probably going to be on a uh, data bank. Let's get rid of this RAM. Nope. There we go. I haven't yet fully figured out how to do these these uh, mini games with like on the first try. The dots like indicate the most likelihood of uh, you know something there. So there's definitely a method, um, but I don't know what the method is just yet. There's you could definitely figure things out, um, figure out a, a way of, of you know taking care of it quickly. Uh, oh, okay, we gotta. We're just trying to progress through the network here. And we're not building up too many logs, but all the same, we'll come back and delete them manually. Okay, we've got uh, we've we've got actual um, data over there, and we've got our our uh, archive system here. So let's uh, have a look through these. There's Pro G Rescore. So we'll download that. That is our primary mission done. Um, warning. Unauthorized download in progress. Emergency quarantine completed. What does that mean? That doesn't sound good. Um, I think we're okay. I don't see any any like major things happening yet. Let's uh, just kind of continue working through here. Delete logs while we can. Do not increase the alert level. That is our, our uh, secondary mission here. Well, I'm very good at not doing that. I'm very good at not increasing the uh, alert level. Just gonna make sure our logs are like low. And yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna take as much as I can, making sure our actually, if there's multiple log services, um, we could probably run a logged cleaner on multiple ones i haven't actually tried to do that before i mean the uh the, the passive log cleaner is kind of new to me 
so oh we got we got more processing power here we could have taken pretty sure we've gotten all we've taken everything okay so let's go ahead and leave nice good chunk of money all right this is new operator module warning last transfer from network node uh, 73 bl 92 in initialize an additional download to the Chel Chelebinsk diva cyber deck download was automatic and disabled all filters file was quarantined scanning for harmful files in progress file analysis started analysis failed unknown data package identification incomplete deleting package failed emergency storage capacity enhancement enabled uh did we just like lose everything incoming message good work we are satisfied with your skills we will be in touch uh i wonder if i've just been had <laughs> we we can go to hardware um heaven though and buy our, our fourth thread so that'll make things a lot easier for me maybe um okay install spyware connect all hubs to explore the network data theft I'm definitely going to do whatever gives me the most money. I don't really care too much about what faction that progresses. I don't know if that's even a thing that happens. Uh, install spyware on the machine of two utilities. Making sure we open up that log service right away and delete our logs. So roll private. I'm not yet. I'm not sure actually what our, our job is in this one. But that's fine. We'll figure it out. I have, I am pretty confident in my ability to not ruin anything. Deleting logs. Uh, we don't have any processing power just yet. We got lots of threads, so we can, you know, I can delete four logs at once now. Oh my goodness! Look at all of this beautiful data. Okay, we gotta we gotta restore our firewall. Okay, let's get rid of this RAM. There we go. Not bad. Um, so now that we have processing power, let's go ahead and run a cleaner on that. Oh my goodness, look at all of this data. Oh, uh, it has highlighted the i have a, a program that highlights the the yeah okay here we go the the mission objectives so this is a utility role so that's really all it meant is i have to install spyware on uh an employee's computer with the role of utility definitely going to run um some drainers on this data but i have to find two utilities so um we gotta make sure we are checking out all of these users to see if they are any of them are, are utilities there's the one um and making sure we restore our data and the pros or our, sorry our firewall and uh, we can start to drain this data we've got tons of extra processing power Ooh, but we want to make sure that we're not increasing our logs by too much Yeah, and now that now that we have like four threads, it, it, it's things are going to be a lot faster. And we'll grab these ones as well. I feel like there's another RAM. So, no, I, I, I deleted uh, or disabled the only RAM. So I don't know what's um, attacking me right now. It feels like something is attacking me. And apparently even running a uh, program on a service it, it builds a log so worth noting that wouldn't it wouldn't it be awful if like even restoring your firewall built logs i was very close to um increasing our threat level 
or alert level and that is actually our side mission so we don't we would we would not want to do that we don't want to do that anyway but you know we also don't want to do that just keep i'm keeping an eye on things don't worry i, I know i'm very much skirting the edge but uh we're just about done just about got everything i think we've got everything now so let's go ahead and detach collected market data 100 collected raw data 130 it builds up you know it adds up real quick incoming message my word this is remarkable not just that the package you downloaded has been locked to your hardware although i wouldn't call that common but after studying your logs i suspect you were expected to identify it as a trap i bet that was the intention of the swarm all along i wonder when they'll realize they didn't get it along with the heaps of the files you forwarded to them uh, forwarded them uh unless we figure something out you'll just have to give them your entire deck and we wouldn't want that bring it over as soon as possible so i can look at it don't worry you can work safely with the package downloaded on your drive well that doesn't sound good uh anything new here proxy keygen the proxy keygen program running on a proxy gate helps break the lock or break it an autonomously i don't know why i would want that the proxy gates have been really easy so far unless they get really difficult later you'll notice i haven't even upgraded my firewall once that's because i haven't really needed to i might need to later who knows um but let's go ahead and we'll do one more of these and then i'll, I'll call it but uh you know I, I like this game i don't know it's it's not a super complicated game but uh sometimes it's nice to not have to play a super complicated game you know uh where is the log server we're not going to do anything until i have access to the log server there it is and we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure we have those processes or that processing power so that we can run a cleaner on the log uh, and i wonder we'll just run a log on that data i wonder if these proxies are going to get more complicated doesn't look like it these seem uh, rather simple integrate all processing power oh that's a new mission type i haven't seen that one before well, that's rather convenient for me because I tend to do that anyway. I mean, I tend to just do everything. All right. We do have a RAM, uh, meaning uh, the, the process that constantly attacks our firewall. N you know, not a big deal. In fact, we can um, kind of see where the attack comes from. So you can, uh, you know, make a guess as to where the RAM is. And there it is right there. Ooh, I don't know why what, what what compelled me to do it like that. That's fine We've got tons of processing power. There's more processing power over there. I uh, just want to make sure I'm Deleting our logs whenever possible. Oh, we have another log server here, so we can run uh, Multiple cleaners on multiple log servers so that's got to be good. It'd actually probably be easier and quicker to download data if our if the log server was like constantly depleting. And yeah, we can see there, in fact, that it is kind of faster. Making sure our firewall is nice and healthy. Honestly, it's still not fast enough. It would be nice if like it, it could keep up with our uh, demands, but it doesn't quite. Again, we're going to just make sure those logs are deleted. It's probably always going to be faster to just like run over there and delete the logs. Especially when we have so many threads, it's hard to keep up with like just is as, as like quick as fast as I can, like, mash the button. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. That was a, it was a simpler mission, because it, it was only 250. You broke into a databank, and now you are AWOL? Lame. Found you with some cool job. Hit it. Hit it, I tell you. And check out your firewalls. Overload generators will kick your ass otherwise. Um, 
time to be a pro have the stiv2 hostile program iterator just um just landed on the highway hot stuff free and extremely illegal you all need that the drop i have for you is dangerous pay is good uh, I might need to upgrade my firewall at some point. Might be a good idea to do that. Oh, extra process power. That's interesting. Now, let's play it safe and upgrade our firewall once. Uh, and I guess we'll do... I'll do one more mission. And like I say, it's like it's really hard for me to put this game down. TBH. New hostile system detected. Hostile program iteration initialized. Okay. Hostile programs. Okay, I'm not sure what this new this so there's a new hostile program and it's doing something, I'm not sure what. Um we don't yet have oh what is this? This is something new. Overload. There are hostile programs like Overload. It attacks your firewall firewall constantly. If an overload appears on a hub, you can go there and simply kill it. You can do it by press, pressing uh, X on your controller or shift on your gamepad. Um, sometimes it saves much time to go directly to or cycle between enemy programs. You can use the hostile program iterator. Okay. The overload generator keeps generating overload programs till it's operational. To disable this in any other active systems, you must attack and solve a minigame you have already learned. Oh, okay. Nothing to it. Not a big deal. Oh, wait a minute. What is... Overload running. Terminate overload. Oh, I see. So the overload generator creates overloads that then attack our system. And we can see it's already built up quite a lot of damage on our firewall. Do we not yet have any processing power? It looks like we don't have any. So we're going to have to clean... Oh, there we go. We've got two. That's good enough. Integrate. All right, we're going to grab that. And we're going to make... Oh, I guess... Uh, you know, honestly, I think it's faster to just, like, do the logs ourselves. Okay, so we're doing it, doing it ourselves. We're letting uh, our passive program um, collect the rare data, because may as well. I think that's a maybe a better way of doing things. Making sure, just checking for other data. Looks like um, there is none, so we may as well also assist. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. 310. That was ace. You can handle the overloads. Yeah, see? No worries. Winning streak, right? You know what? I was thinking, let's pay a visit to the freelancers. My pals wanted to break into a warehouse in the Lancer territory. And you, my friend, could be their digital muscle. Disable some cameras, open the doors, stuff like that. Improvise on the fly. It In 100% rogue style. Could be cool. Uh, overload RAM, proxy generator. Yeah, so I mean, things are going to become, you know... They're going to complicate, convolute. Uh, but yeah, this is drop. Um, what is it? The subtitle of this game? Drop system breach. I like it. It's, 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 I don't know, like really addictive. It's like $12, so it's probably like 8 for you. Um, and uh, I, it, it's, I mean, it's got really good controller support. I have to imagine this actually plays quite well on the deck, but I haven't confirmed for, for myself. Um, let me do a cursory glance on the store page just to see if, uh, yeah, it's, it's verified. Um, that's not a, like, guarantee that it'll play well on this, on the Steam Deck, but I have to imagine it will. Um, so, I don't know, maybe try it out and let me know in the comments. But, uh, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.